we want to be headed southwest. We're going through that narrow area again, and then we'll hit that port. We were contemplating a longer route, but today we really want to get to the campsite before it gets dark. So we've decided to go the same way we came. All right, hold up. We got a camera question. What happened? So this route has. It says when he puts it on manual focus, it switches. Oh, I know. You're using A60. So this route has a few more portages, but it'll get us there quicker, and it'll make sure that we actually get to our campsite before it gets dark. We're not gonna have a repeat of last night. Andrew and Brad are moving at like a snail's pace. So I'm gonna send them a little motivation. And stroke, 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 stroke. I don't think it was working much. How are you two weenies doing? <laughs> weenies? Quite a thing to say from second place. <laughs> Thomas and Andrew. No, 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 no. I'll give you guys a boost. <laughs> it's very, very inefficient. I think I'm just slowing you down, actually. Here, I'll push you up. <laughs> You know, it's funny, when you were in, when we were in Yellowstone, you were talking about paddling in a canoe at night. I had done that once before, 
but when you were telling me about it, I had actually forgotten about it. And now I remember what that feeling is. This is serenity. I think part of the reason is that you don't have anywhere to go. Yeah. So you can just enjoy it. And you get to see the big sky too. Last night I was telling Brian, and I don't think I did a very good job explaining it, but it's like places like this, how can they exist on the same planet where wars happen? You know what I mean? Hmm. Like, they're just like the complete opposite of each other. And it's almost like if you could take the people who want to start wars and bring them to a place like this, would they still want to start the war? It's, it's always weird to me when people say that human nature is just vile and evil by nature. There's examples of nature being violent and terrible, but then there's this, where it's completely peaceful. And I think it's really not a matter of humans are one way or the other. There's just as many examples of good as there are bad, and it's up to us. I have this particular theory of the world that really the point of existence is to tell a story. And for me, it's all about what story do you want to tell? And lots of people, I feel like they're telling the war story. They're telling the trials and tribulations story. And you know what? That's just not my story, man. My story is paddling around a canoe of whiskey and stew. <laughs> So it's not I'm pretending <laughs> even a little bit. <laughs> we actually have to wake him up, so. Or should we wake him up? That's for stuff. Thomas. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, you were passed out. I guess I was, yeah. <laughs> so what? Uh, Anyways, it's time. We're we're done. We can oh, yeah. go. <laughs> <laughs>